All right, welcome to the original Ride Idea Marathon. This is a uh, video where I'm going to go through a few uh, small original ride ideas that I have, aka they're not based on an existing intellectual property. The first of these being the giant pendulum ride. For this ride, guests would approach a giant who is sitting down at a table taking a nap. The giant would have an animatronic head, but the rest of the body would just be a statue. At the base of the giant would be a children's play area around his nasty, fungus-filled toes, but that isn't the ride idea. Guests would then climb a set of ramps next to one of the legs of the table, eventually getting to the top of the table. The giant would be holding a cocktail umbrella in his fingers, twirling it around and blowing it with his breathing as he naps on his hand. The cocktail umbrella would be our pendulum ride. Guests would board the umbrella and swing above the table, getting a pretty good view of the park, and they would also get some close encounters with the giant and other giant items on the table. The giant would also occasionally sneeze on the guests, spraying everyone with water. The next idea I have is for a cheese ferris wheel. I think this ride would probably be located somewhere in Wisconsin as 25% of America's cheese comes from Wisconsin. Fun fact for you. For this ride, guests would enter the queue through the National Cheese Museum, where instead of meeting the people who run the museum, they would encounter human-sized rats. These aren't just your ordinary human-sized rats, though. They are sophisticated cheese connoisseurs, and they actually run the museum. Scattered throughout the museum would be animatronics and statues of these rats greeting guests, sampling some cheese, and giving out facts about cheese. One of these random facts may be that once cheese is digested, it turns into an opioid. Other opioids you may know of are heroin and morphine. That is 100% true. Look it up. Also throughout the queue would be human employees handing out samples of different kinds of cheese to guests waiting in the line. These samples will allow guests to make very important decisions once they reach the end of the line. You see, the Ferris Wheel Center would be a giant Gouda cheese wheel. Why Gouda? Because I think when most people think of a cheese wheel, they think of this bad boy. And I think that's the best looking cheese wheel, personally. I know there are some other ones that people really like, but this is the one I think of when I think of cheese wheel. So, we're going with that. The individual carts on the Ferris wheel would also be cheese but would instead be cheese cubes of different kinds of cheese. The types of cheese featured would be cheddar, Swiss, mozzarella, provolone, feta, brie, blue cheese, gorgonzola, munster, ricotta, Monterey Jack, parmesan, and gouda. Again, because gouda is good. Hilarious, right? As you can see, none of that American cheese is getting put up in this ride. Only cheeses for people with sophisticated palates are allowed. Now here is where the guests would need to make a decision. Each cart would be equipped with more samples of the cheese that the cart is made of, as well as some crackers. So guests would get to choose which cheese they want more of after sampling a bunch of them in the queue. Of course, more popular cheeses such as cheddar may end up having longer lines than lesser consumed cheese like gorgonzola. So choose wisely. The samples of cheese and crackers would be placed in a plastic bin, which would be taken out and replaced after each group is done with their ride. This would prevent cross-contamination and would also prevent people from eating cheese that the people before them did something nasty to. So definitely covering all grounds doing that. Once off the ride, guests would be directed into a gift shop where cheese merchandise and apparel would be sold. On top of this, there would also be a deli where guests could purchase any of the cheeses from the ride in wheel, block, or sliced variations. The final original ride idea I have for this video is the Rocky Waves Byron Curve Attraction. Yeah, it doesn't really roll off the tongue, but that's the name of it, so deal with it. Each ride vehicle would be a boat, all with individual names referencing boats from different uh, forms of media. So, for instance, one of them would be the uh, Tuolomi, I think that's how you say it, I could be wrong, from uh, The Great Gatsby, uh, Liberty and Spirit from The Dark Knight, and Orca from Jaws. The bumps in the Byron Curve would be representative of the rocky waves in the ocean, and the circular spinning of the ride would be chalked up to a spinning whirlpool in the middle of the ride. In the indoor portion of the ride, there would be a statue of a fisherman on his boat, and beside him an animatronic of a giant squid peeking out from the water below, flailing his tentacles in the air. Occasionally the giant squid would splash the water, getting guests on the ride wet. At the midway point of this ride, the giant squid would put one of his tentacles near the ride vehicles, making it look like he is stopping the boats in their tracks. The ride would then slow down, stop, and eventually start going backwards. It would be implied through the squid's movements that he is the one who sent the vehicles moving backwards. Of course, the whole going backwards thing is a typical thing that happens on most Byron Curves if you've ever been on one. Um, 
it's a pretty big staple. Now, usually they would have um, music playing in the background a lot of these, um, popular music, whatever. It's probably just going to be waves crashing and stuff like that. Maybe there'll be some sort of score going on, like some sailor score or whatever, but it'll probably be kept pretty basic. So that's it for this idea and for all the ideas in this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.